All right. This Welcome is back. This is the free for all. Free for all round. We are all going to choose Just, our fighters. Yep. And we are all going to choose our additions to our fighters, and then. Just for fun, I'll draw the blue cards just because I haven't gotten to yet. Sure, yeah, you do that. So it's a three, and we're all just kind of going to discuss the ideas of each other's instead of trying to like buy for our own. I think we're all going to rationale out who sure. should realistically win in this scenario. Makes sense. So, uh, Everybody choose their fighter, mm -hmm. choose their addition. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. <gasps> Shit, this is oh, okay. this is really tough. For yeah, me, right? this one is tough. I've got some good ones. So I have I have a card in here that says draw a random character card. Yeah. So does that mean like I draw an additional character card if I use that one? I would assume so. Not Go one ahead. out of my hand. Yeah. Go ahead. Or you can use one out of your hand if you want. Okay. Because it's you know you've already drawn that one. All right. Okay, I gotta go with this one. If yeah. they're if I they're really obscure, but like <laughs> they are a name, do we have to come up with like the one that we want to choose of that name? Like if there's say that again. If you can like pick a name, like there's a name out there that can like have. Did you fart? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about, Tyler. <laughs> Okay, I'll, so have to, I'll have to get we'll, there. We'll, we'll discuss it once we... Just, yeah, I'll pick, pick your guy, because I'm real confused. I'm very you. excited. We have to choose who this is, then, because okay. I have no idea. All right, you guys ready? Yep. Tyler, you first. Okay, Ash. Okay. Cannons instead of hands. All right. So, Ash. Are you talking Evil Dead Ash? Or are you talking... Pokemon Ash? Or Pokemon It's Ash. hard to tell with Loot Crate. Right. I'd say you choose. But a lot of the stuff that's in choose, here leads me to believe it being Evil Dead Ash. Pro but it doesn't say Ash Williams. And no. I feel like they might have specified. But it also it doesn't say, say Ash Ketchum. Ketchum. Yeah. It didn't say Ash do you from... Do you want to do a pick, different one Pick then? one that you want. Do you want to choose a different one then? How about... Yeah, kind of. Okay, yeah, okay. that's fine. That's yeah. totally fine. You don't have to do yeah. Ash if you don't want to. Because I, I would probably have that's the same That's a discard question. pile. This is... Okay. There's your... There's your... Well, that's weird. Okay, I'm just gonna go with this. Choose my other guy. Goliath. With cannons instead of hands. Okay. okay. Well, like, what Goliath? <laughs> See again. The Marvel character. I'm I'm a thinking Goliath, I'm thinking David Goliath, Goliath. Biblical Goliath. Either biblical Goliath or gargoyles Goliath. That's probably what they mean. Actually, yeah. I mention it. Which one? Biblical? No. Gargoyles. Gargoyles. gargoyles? But I think it's open like that, so you can like. If 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 it's not as a group, as a group, should we just say gargoyles? I don't want sure. to. Choose. No, but, okay, sure. If that's what yeah, you want. Fine. As a group. If you're okay with that. It's, if you're okay with that, then yes. It's your representative fighter. Yeah, I, I kind of drew shit for white cards. Wow, that sucks. So, Eric. The Navy, bitten by a radioactive honey badger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I, I can see I can actually. Maybe take that on <laughs> as a gargoyle <laughs> with cannons. Here's my introduction. Here's my inclusion. Hercules, and he's faster than a speeding bullet. Oh, it's basically Superman. Well, I had one that can. Well, he you can't say Superman. No, he's just faster than a speeding bullet. No, but he's also super strong and a demigod, the son of Zeus. Goliath is a biblical figure, or no, oh. gargoyle that can turn to stone and fly. In the daytime, you can turn to stone. Oh, I didn't choose the blue card. So oh, yeah. Here's, yeah, before we get into it too much. Yeah. Because that might actually say, you know, something kind of big here. Those are... What? I guess really bad. No, those are those were the ones that we just had. Oh. Helicopters oh. and the slope of volcano. Okay. Uh, if this is taking place on a desert island. Sure. Nice. No, it's taking place on a desert island. Excuse me. That is clearly the spelling of dessert, not desert. Two S's. It's true. So, yep. we'll get into that. Desert and, island. And all fighters are armed with gasoline squirt guns. Holy shit. So, a desert island is literally just like, I don't know, 
the entire place is made up of waffle cones and ice cream and cakes and that's that's it. It's Ryan's just made out of food. Sweet sure. shirts. I foods. obviously win this. Why? Because we're on an island and I'm the fucking navy. I'm also fucking Hercules, a demigod, which cannot be killed by mortal man, like, with just a gun. Or anything. But I was bitten by a radioactive honey badger. It doesn't say that you have all your battle shit, or... The Navy. It's pretty much assumed, right? But you... you it's kind of like... The Navy was bitten by a radioactive honey badger. They're just gonna run around and scavenge and shit. They're, they're not, gonna murder. Honey they're not. They're not gonna murder. know what's what. They're just gonna go rampaging on whatever. What was yours? Does Spider-Man go fucking poop webs all the time and try to catch bugs to eat? He catches bad guys or like Goliath bugs. with cannons instead of hands? I mean... The I Navy's feel... got cannons for days. I'm also faster than a speeding bullet. So any speeding bullets or anything like that you want to send my way... But how many bullets at once? This one's actually... It doesn't matter. I'm still Hercules. This still one's actually just a this. gimme. I think it's a gimme. Like, Hercules wins. Because he can I run across the, the, the d desert I've gotten, island. I've gotten... He could also just like probably run the fuck on water being that fast. Yeah, so. that's what it would mean. I'd go up and I'd punch your boats and yeah. I'd... Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's... run you. Hercules. And if it's during the daytime, <laughs> you're stone, I'd smash you. Yeah. If we were going by Gargoyle, but I really don't know what they meant, so... Even yeah. if it was Goliath, still. I just... Hercules. I got I got a Literal, real... literal half... Half God. Just for interest's sake, do we want to do another white, black edition? Okay. Because that was really easy right. for Hercules. Well, I, right. I think we all came into agreement on that one. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My addition is Mothra, and everything they touch turns inside out. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to choose an army of skeletons. Oh, shit. All riding a nuclear bomb. Oh, fuck. Nuclear missile. So it's a whole army riding a missile. Um, well, or you can't fit an entire army onto one missile. They all have a nuclear missile. No. <laughs> well, it's an army of skeletons. They have to be riding... It says riding A. It doesn't say each riding. Well, then they're all riding a huge nuclear missile. It has to be an army riding a missile. So you either adjust how many no, missiles there's just an or army. how big the missile is. The missile's big uh, as an army can fit. That doesn't increase the payload, strong. though, I would say. Not wrong. It's just it's just a nuclear missile. It doesn't say anything about it being like either super big or super powerful. I understand that as far desert as island is gone. I'm sorry to say, it is gone. <laughs> probably also not going to affect Hercules. Sadly, probably, he's coming up on top way too much here. Probably going to affect the fuck out of my navy. Bye bye. That navy. was bitten by the honey badger. Um, might that not nope. affect Mothra, Mothra though too much. No. Mothra Mothra's already sky. radioactive. Yeah, he up in the sky, he good. He could probably suck in or yeah, absorb all it. the absorb. Here's yeah. mine. A Hydra. Or oh, wait, they probably mean Marvel's Hydra. Nope. Mythical Hydra. No, I know, but with this being Loot Crate, Hydra, this is another one where it could be either one. It's true. I'll just do a different. I'll do a different. They might have meant Ash from Evil Dead with Army of Skeletons. <laughs> this just says Kaiju. Now we're just reading. Loch Ness Monster. Here we go. Okay. Loch Ness Monster with machine guns for legs. But it doesn't have legs. Whatever Fins. whatever it uses as legs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. They um, don't got no legs. I don't so, got no leg. Big I mean, <laughs> Mothra, obviously, would just turn Nessie inside out. Yeah. Sure. Dead. You can't turn skeletons inside out. They're already fucking inside out. They are the insides that are out already. Yeah. Um, but I would survive that nuke. I think you Hercules might be able to put up a fight against Mothra, but Mothra might be able to... Cause also, if he touched Mothra... He, he wouldn't have to touch him, though. He'd turn inside out. How, why wouldn't he have to touch him? He can't throw lightning bolts or anything. He doesn't need to throw lightning bolts. He's Hercules. Yeah. If he wants, he can pick up a giant boulder and oh, yeah, toss throw it. things at it. So yeah. that might put up a fight against Mothra, mm -hmm. but I think Mothra does have a really, really strong case here. Yeah. Same here. Because it's got its rays, it's got its spores that it can release. Right. It could make Hercules go to sleep and That's then true. just fly down and touch him. He's inside out. It's true. In, what about my if bomb? If it turns him inside out, 
Well, we told we we were saying Mothra was all right with that bomb. But for Herc? whatever, I don't for know about whatever you had. What was the one you had? The hide or Loch Ness monster. Loch Ness monster would be decimated. It'd be by offshore, the... which would probably be taken care of by either Hercules or Mothra or. Or not real life, but. <laughs> How did Hercules die in real life, guys? I forgot. You know what I mean. Where did he? Where was he buried? <laughs> but he died. Well, I don't know what the canonical Greek death of Hercules is, but that's important because then we know what it would take to kill him. No. No. I just... Yeah, it does. I thought... How does that Let's not... Let's look up... Well, okay. He got killed by then a we'd lion. we'd have to do research on other people. Like, well, I, I say just keep it with the cards where... It's but a, we need it's, to know... It's a group thing. We yeah, this is this is between us, not not with the... But we need to know... No, we don't. It's not going to influence me. So. It's not going to influence me at all. Knowing knowing what it takes to kill Hercules doesn't... No. Isn't going to influence this me. at all? Because he's faster than speeding bullet. Okay. I still, I, I honestly think Mothra might come out on top. Because if Mothra just stays up in the air, Hercules at a certain point is, is like he might throw something, but she, she's gonna see it coming, get out of the way. I would say where we are, he couldn't throw anything because I would have destroyed the the whole island. There would be nothing there for Hercules to throw at Mothra. That's true. So Hercules would just be running circles. Until he could get into a physical fight he with Mothra. He might be able to try and jump up and hit Mothra, but... It maybe but the second he touches Mothra, you turn inside it. Out. So I think Mothra has it. Mothra this probably has it. Because, like I said, from up above, Mothra could like release her little spores or whatever, put him to sleep, right. and then just go right down and touch him. Because all he could do is run circles around the decimated desert. He, like, he might be able to jump up pretty high, being as strong as he is, like to try and attack her. But yeah, again, the second that he touches her, inside out. And I would say that he's at a disadvantage because he couldn't do that because he's, you couldn't get enough friction to jump from water if you're just running around really fast. Well, he doesn't need to run from the water. Like he can. No, he's running on the water. On the he water. can't jump. No, really. He high. doesn't need to run on water if he doesn't want to. He could stand on whatever island it is before the bomb hits to try and like. Just because the bomb hits doesn't mean every single piece. Of, like islands are pillars built down. It would take out everything on the island but i would imagine that it would leave some sort of physical like geography still somewhere near water level you know possibly because then we still have right. other fighters who are dependent on the, the land being there i don't think a nuclear bomb would take out it would definitely leave like a huge crater mm. and like take out a lot of wherever it hit but and we don't know how big the we don't know how big desert yeah. island is. We don't know how big desert island is. <laughs> I want to go to desert island, not an original one, but it's inconsequential. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's inconsequential. I would say Mothra. He just so happened to be able to be poisoned by centaurs' blood. So yeah, no big deal. There's no centaurs around. There's no yeah. centaurs. So Mothra, Mothra it is. Mothra wins. Cool. cool, cool. That was round three. That was the free for all battle of Super Fight. Yeah. That it was, was a fun little uh, loot crate game. Yeah, it was. That was interesting. Yeah. Made by had... Skybound Entertainment. Yeah, sure. so I don't know if the uh, like normal version of this or other additions or variants are more interesting. It's or... like, yeah, if it has less nerdy things in it. But I don't see how you could. Well, the, the normal version might just be like superheroes then. If it's made by Skybound and it's Super Fight, it's probably just like DC Marvel image, like a bunch of different could be. kind of... Uh, Potential. Comic characters Skybound fighting. Games. I didn't know that Kirkman had a brand. Cause Skybound Entertainment is a um, sub-imprint of Image Comics owned by Robert Kirkman, um, author of The Walking Dead and um, other books like Invincible. Mm -hmm. um, and he, he was made a partner of Image and then given his own... Which is the first non-founder to be a partner in Image Comics. Yep. And uh, given his own imprint, being Skybound. Well. Um, and apparently he makes games now. Yeah. That's, that was cool. Fun. That was fun. Pretty fun game. That yeah. was a fun game. Try it out with your friends. Know. How about uh, you play Super Fight? Play Super, play Super Fight. If you want to or if you don't. Argue with your friends. Yeah. For a reason. Keep it civil. <laughs> Keep it civil. <laughs> Hear each other out. For don't, a reason. Don't yeah. just don't just don't just have fight to make up nail. these fights in your head. Just like yo, what if like this guy was fighting this guy and then he sat and argued it? They give you reasons. They give you. They things. give you good reasons. Give you and they give you. They give you give ideas. You, give you springboards. Uh -huh. Yes. And we'll we'll be back with uh, more stuff later. Something yep. else.
goodbye. <coughs> Something else to pump down your ear holes.